Hey, what's up, coach? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. So on this channel, I have talked in so many different types of videos about how to make more money, how to get clients, um, setting standards. I mean, if you search our channel, we have so many videos, I think close to like 1300 or something like that. Um, in this video, I'm going to be breaking down specifically what type of coach can actually make six to seven figures per year and do it as a lasting business. And the reason why I'm bringing this up, I see a lot of coaches out there. They can make six figures in one year and then the next year they just fade off. Uh, or maybe they have a couple years of it and then they get burned out. Um, and I also see there's a big mindset out there see this all the time with people that reach out to me that they just want to make money now. Um, and it's a very short lived type of thing. Um, and at the end of the day, mm -hmm. that's not going to solve any problem for them personally, uh, cause they're not solving any problems for the clients. And I really want to show you how to have like a fulfilled business in this video. And this is not for everyone. Um, and I will tell you that most coaches out there, When I look at their business, even if they make an extra ten thousand dollars next month, it's not gonna, it's not going to be the end all be all for them. Like they're still gonna have the same life, they're still gonna have the same sort of problems that they're dealing with. Um, and I've seen this over the last seven, eight years. This is why I feel like really compelled to talk about this in this video. And I'm going to be making more videos that are like this. All right. So let's get straight into it. So if you're someone who wants to have a business to last and a fulfilling business to last, watch. Okay. So the first thing, in my opinion, is just concrete. All right. It is foundation. So this is someone that represents high integrity when the lights are off. What I mean by that is when you're on your own, are you the same person that you portray on social media? Are you the same person that you portray to the kids that you're training? And here's the deal. A lot of coaches that I know, a lot of coaches that I've spoken to are not that way. Um, they have this like fake character online and fake character at their sessions. And then when they're on their own, they're a completely different person. Uh, I see a lot of coaches right now on Instagram, for example, they, they talk about how they're a mindset coach and confidence building coach. And then uh, they're trying to teach kids like uh, how to be a good person and how to do all this positive stuff. And then on Fridays and Saturdays, they're out smoking weed and they're, they're going out to the club and they're wasting all their money and they're doing things that they would never tell their clients to do. And these are the types of people that don't represent high integrity because like they are saying one thing with their clients and they're doing something completely different in their own life. And there's a reason why those types of people always burn out and always fail in this industry because they are faking their life. They're faking their life. All right. They're faking it on social media. They're faking it at their sessions. And then they are real with themselves when the lights are off. And, uh, this is why you got to represent high integrity when the lights are off. Um, and, at the end of the day, that's how everybody that you work with like, is going to actually look up to you. They, they want to be around you. They want to be in your organization. People want to work for you when, when you are a certain way. Um, the, the coaches that work for you are going to have more respect for you. The clients are going to pay on time. Like the, These people that you interact with on a daily basis, if they really, really respect you, they're not going to question your character. And this is why this one is so huge. It's because like if your clients actually look up to you off the court or off the field, uh, to me, that's a game changer. That's showing me that you're a person of value. You're not just some trainer. Like anybody can just be a trainer. Like the barrier to entry is so freaking low. It's crazy. Like anybody can be a trainer. Um, if I wanted to, like I could go, I could go start a business right now. Like I could go start a golf business. I've never played pro golf. I never played college golf. Um, I shoot in like the low eighties, but if I wanted to, I could go start a, a golf lesson business and I can learn 
how to be a, a golf coach. Easy. I can go to YouTube. I can figure it out. I could go buy a business coaching program and, and learn how, how to run the business side of it. And I'm off to the races. And like, that's showing you, though, that like, anybody can get into this game of coaching. But it's the ones who have high character are the ones who stick. They're the ones who stay. And they're the ones who get their clients to stay. All right. That is super important. Okay. Next one here. Uh, you're, you're someone that your clients, parents have a high level of trust in. All right. You got to remember like when someone brings their kid to you or to your business, they are trusting that everything is good. They are trusting that you are like a role model. You, you're, you or someone in your organization is a mentor to this kid. It's not just a trainer. And the second you lose trust, it's game over. And it should be game over because like uh, if you have a son or a daughter, like why would you go bring your kid somewhere if you don't really trust that organization? So you got to have a high amount of trust and your clients need to understand that they can go online. They can go on Instagram. They can look anywhere they want. They're not going to find a service that's like this anywhere else in the state. And I will tell you right now, the people that I work with right now, one-on-one, -on -one, that have, in my opinion, like they have some of the biggest programs and organizations in the entire United States. Like these are people that invest a lot into getting my coaching. Hey, like, I know if I fly to their area, I can go scour the city, scour the state. I'm not going to find anyone that can truly compete with their organization because they have the best type of program and service for their clients and their clients will never leave because they can't get that service anywhere else. And if they do try to leave and they go train with some other trainer, they're going to stop training with that trainer in two seconds. Cause they're going to be like, man, like they don't do things the way that this other coach did. And this is why if you want to have a lasting business, you need to have clients that actually commit. And you need to have a committed type of program for your clients. Okay. So your clients should never, like, they should never be able to go look on Google and be like, oh, well, this new trainer is like, his program is going to be better than, than yours. Like, if that's the case, then that other trainer is, is going to beat you straight up. All right. So no one should be able to compete with your thing. All right. Uh, this one's really, really important. Okay. Someone's going to make six or seven figures per year. They're stoic during stressful and pressurized situations. So the easiest way I can explain this is when you have a really stressful day, you're chilling. When you have a really good day, you're chilling. All right. Good example. Um, I've talked about this on my YouTube channel before, but like I'm biased because I, I I live near San Antonio, but I've always been a Tim Duncan fan. But if you if you watch Tim Duncan, he's not super high or super low. He's just the same, right? Very stoic basketball player. And you should be a stoic business person. You shouldn't get all excited because you closed two clients today. And you shouldn't get all frustrated because you lost a client today. You should have the abundance mindset knowing that there's there's – more than enough kids in my local area that I can actually work with. Um, because if you don't believe that, you're going to be scarcity minded and you will never, ever, like, and I mean this, like if you really, really are scarcity minded, uh, it's going to be hard to break through to the next level with your business. Uh, no matter how much marketing or, or how good you are at business, it's hard to break through to that next level when you think that, oh, I just lost one person. Like I, I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to regain 10 more people. Like that mindset will kill you. Uh, and this is why you got to be chill when bad things happen. And I see it oftentimes with younger trainers. Like when bad things happen, they freak out and they don't know what to do. And when, in the grand scheme of things, it's like their business is totally fine. They're just had a bad day, right? Bad day can lead to a bad month. That can lead to a bad year. Um, it's all mindset. Okay. Next one here. Uh, this is a coach that knows how to make money, which Making money is is a skill, and it's a coach that knows how to manage money. Okay, that is also a skill. So, like taxes, investing, retirement, like what are you doing with your money? I know so many coaches right now that make twenty k a month, and if I go live with them, they're broke. They're blowing all their money. 
buying cars, they're going on vacations, they're doing all the stupid stuff that at the end of the day, they're just, they're trying to fill this, this gap in their life. And if they think they make more money, they think that's going to fill the gap and it doesn't, it won't, it never does. <laughs> and if you're someone watching this video and, and you've tried doing that in your life, you're like, man, if I just make more money, I'm like, I'm going to be uh, happier. It's not going to do anything. All right. It just not, but it's someone that knows how to, how to make it and how to manage it. All right. If you don't know how to manage your money, I don't care how much money you make because you're just going to lose it all. You're going to go spend it on things that don't matter. And at the end of the day, that's your fault. So it's your fault because you're, you're not spending time learning. Well, what can I do with this money? All right. And one of my favorite sentences ever that has resonated with me so much is revenue feeds the ego, profit feeds the family. I know a lot of people that I talk to uh, that can make a million dollars per year. And when I look at the profit margin, they're making like 10% profit margin. That's 100K off a million dollars. I know a lot of coaches that make $100,000 per year. Uh, their profit margin is like 30%. They're making 30K off 100, right? Revenue feeds the ego. Revenue looks cool on Instagram. Profit feeds the family. The thing that actually matters, okay? So never forget that. All right, we got two more. So this is someone that truly understands that their business isn't about them. It's about their customers and solving problems. If you make your business about you, it's selfish. You make your business about your customers, it's unselfish. The more people you help, the better you're going to feel about your business. If you just make it all about you and your life and your accolades and and you, 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 that, that sends a marketing message that repels people. All right, Most coaches don't know this, but when you do that, when you make everything about you, people that like actually want their kid to get help, are going to be repelled against this message. Okay. So that is super important. Okay. So pretty straightforward. All right. So if you want a business to last and like six figure, seven figure business to last, I'm not talking about some, some, oh, let's, let's make 10K this month and then like let's drop off. No, I'm talking about business to last that is here to stay, right foundations, right marketing right mindset, like good with your money management, that sort of stuff, text me at 210-960-5771. Let's chat for 10 to 15 minutes. Coming up, I am shifting my business model, meaning I am going to be working exclusively with coaches one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and a lot of that stuff is going to be in person. So if you are someone that like really wants to take what I'm talking about and set it up and, and form it together, text me. I'd be happy to chat with you. I would love to chat with you. Um, I do this every single day for a living. I talk with coaches every day. I mentor a lot of coaches. We have over 200 coaches in our current program right now. I've already worked with over 1,500 coaches worldwide. So if you're serious, text me. Love to chat with you. See you later.